when I was told we we're making a realistic RPG set in a real world um, um, setting, I, I wanted to try to nail reality as hard as possible. Where I think it really does feel like a very living world, and I think it uh, it feels a lot like characters really are reacting to you and uh, and responding to the choices that you make. As you go through the game, you you will grow. Um, he will grow. I think what makes it amazing is see seeing how what you're choosing affects other things down the line. And, and there's tons of opportunity to, to, to move Mike Thornton where you want to in, in the world and, and affect the world. Um, so in Alpha Protocol, we really tried to make the, make the different approaches not necessarily equivalent, but always balanced. And there's always something interesting and fun going on in, uh, in each path. Michael Thornton can't trust anybody. Uh, because he can make allies or enemies with anybody in the game itself. Who can you really trust? You know, is it the person that says they're on your side? Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? Or is it the person that says that maybe they're working towards the same goal but they don't agree with you? I'm afraid it is out of the question. Or is it maybe you're the person that you thought at the beginning of the game was your sworn enemy? That's, that's definitely one of the themes that we're trying to approach within the, uh, the storyline of Alpha Protocol. I think some of the most important allies in, um, in our game for Thornton would be uh, Yancey Westrich. He's your handler very early on. He has um, especially picked Thornton and, and believes that Thornton can take on this mission. All right, then, pack your gear. Konstantin Brako, he's one of my personal favorites. He's a, uh, a Russian mob boss who is completely obsessed with American 1980s culture. Z, uh, our, our German uh, cougar. Based on how you uh, align with her, uh, you can gain a lot of different um, resources too. Different equipment, ammo, different mercenaries that can come with you on missions. Uh, and just uh, different insights on how to go through levels. We should talk. I do not want to shoot you. In Alpha Protocol, you will visit Saudi Arabia. Um, from there, you can travel on to Moscow, Rome, or Taipei. When people play video games, they want to have fun. They want to they want to get away from their jobs and, and mundane, you know, usual things and see something new, see something different, see something fantastic. You're traveling all over the world, and we wanted to make sure that when the players are going from different hub to hub, that they know exactly where they are in the world. I think Alpha Protocol, because it is heavily story driven, I mean, that's really what's 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 going to make Alpha Protocol really really push the limits of RPG. So the question is, who can you trust? That's